Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy as Promo. Today is March 27th and I just noticed that Samsung pushed off the software update to the Galaxy S21 series for Samsung One UI 4.1. Now, just recently, I believe it was maybe about a week ago, we already updated the Galaxy S21. Uh, the last update we did was on March 19th and this one did bring us the March 1st patch and I mentioned that I was waiting on that one to give us 4.1 and here we are the update is now sitting here now this is a very very long list of a bunch of things that has been added and that is new so I definitely suggest that if you are going to do this update you'd also be able to go back in and you can take a look at this update so you can take a look at this entire list just like I will be doing because I want to write down the majority of all of these so this way I can show you guys a lot of these differences now I already created a video basically of everything that is already brand new this is just something that is more detailed written down I'm gonna make sure that I got everything already done in a previous video also there's a bunch of videos of one-off videos talking about a bunch of these features that is either on Samsung in a minute or on this channel so the majority of a lot of this has already been covered but if you own the Galaxy S21 series you'll be looking for another update here Again, for the March 1st patch, uh, the size here is 1,562 megabytes, uh, and the version here ends with CVC4. So this one is fairly large. Usually every single monthly update is right around 200 to 300 megabytes, but you can see it's very, very large just because you're getting all of this stuff listed in this screen. Now, just previously, I mentioned that you're able to go back and read everything that's new in this update because sometimes your phone does an auto update and you don't really know, you know what has been done. Uh, so you can just go back in your settings. Then you want to head down inside of software update and then click right here. When it's fully complete and finished, you're able to go into last update and then you're able to read everything. So that one was just a small page, but this is what will show up in that section. So how about we just go through, uh, let's read a bunch of this stuff. Let's talk about what is new. And then you'd be able to click some links below the video in the description to where you can actually see it all in action. Uh, Cause today I'm not gonna show off a bunch of these things here because I've already got it done and either they've already been uploaded or or they're actually being uploaded within the next couple days. So as this is downloading, let's just go through and, and kind of skim through everything. So when it comes down to the camera, you have more options for portrait videos. So capture great portrait videos even when your subject is far away. You can now record portrait videos with the three time lens on the rear camera in addition to the one X lens. You can also zoom in farther in pro and pro video modes. The telephoto lenses is now supported in pro and pro video modes. So you can now capture uh, uh, clearer images and videos of far away things. Next up, you're able to get the full director's view. So you can save your director's view videos with separate front and rear videos so you can edit them later, even after you're done recording. When you play them back in the video player, you can switch between different views, such as split screen or picture in picture. Now inside of your gallery, you have powerful remastering. So make your photos look better than ever, sharpen blurry faces, fix distortions on TVs and computer screens and increase brightness and resolution. More suggestions. So you get, you get help creating artistic portraits and exciting highlights reels gallery uh, will suggest the best effects for your pictures add portrait effects so you can add, now add a background blur to any picture with a person in view so if you took a picture as a regular auto you know photo you can now add in the portrait effect uh, portrait relighting adjust the lighting for portraits even after you've taken them to make sure you always have the perfect shot convert unnecessary motion photos to still images uh, save storage space by converting motion photos to still images so when you have that option to create those motion photos, um, it looks like now you can actually take it back. Now, I never really use motion photos, so I don't think I have uh, examples of where I'd be able to do that after the fact. Looks like you can share albums as links, all of your invitations uh, together, and then create time-lapse videos. For AR Zone, uh, there's more decorations for your emoji stickers. You can add more to your AR doodles, background colors in mask mode, smart widget. So this was something that I've already covered. So you can actually group your widgets together. So you can save space on your home screen by combining multiple widgets into one smart widget. Swipe left or right to scroll through your widgets. So again, I can place that link below the video inside the description so you guys can take a look at that one. Uh, get suggestions for your home screen. There's updates to Google Duo so you can do more. Uh, for video calls. So it looks like you can share another app's screen during a video call in Google Duo. So if you want to watch YouTube together or share photos, take a look at maps and more. So if you want to do a screen share as you're doing Google Duo, you can do that. Uh, join video calls in presentation mode. 
For Samsung Health, you get insights about your body composition, build better sleeping habits, enhance exercise tracking, uh, and that's gonna be working with the Galaxy Watch 4. For Samsung Notes, you can take quick notes while you browse, so keep track of your sources with new clipping options. So we'll probably play around with that one later on, so I'll write that one down. I'll use your phone as a toolbar, so when taking notes on your tablet, free up more screen space for writing by showing the S Pen toolbar on your phone. So this one will be pretty interesting, so that just basically means I'm going to have my tablet right here, my phone over here, and it looks like it'll give me more space on the tablet by putting that toolbar on the, the screen of the phone. So I'm gonna have them you know, sitting side by side. So we'll see how that works here in the near future. Uh, smart switch, we've already covered that. So in my last video talking about Samsung Smart Switch 2022, that there was a bunch more options. Uh, and so that's actually what they are talking about here. Smart things fine, you get notified when you leave something behind, find a lost uh, device together. So this way, uh, when you turn on your locations and everybody else also has theirs turned on, then you know, you're able to find your lost things from another person uh, that are you know, hopefully nearby. For sharing, you can share your Wi-Fi network, include editing uh, editing history when you share pictures and videos, and then share tips with others. Let's see, so find something useful in the tips app, tap the share icon to send it to a friend. And then looks like color palette has been updated, which I've already shown that, smart suggestions, uh, clean up shadows, reflections, and photo editor. So actually I just got done shooting those, so those will be coming on this channel here within the next uh, couple days. Add emojis to the calendar. You can choose apps for text correction in the Samsung keyboard. So if there's uh, particular applications that you want the automatic text uh, correction to happen, you can do that. Uh, more widely available keyboard options. Uh, let's see here, keyboard layouts, input methods, and features for specific languages are now available in more regions. Customize your sound balance. So that was also covered in my video of everything new in Samsung One UI 4.1. Uh, new actions for Bixby routines. Customize your virtual memory. So I talked about that as well in that same video, which was a video called Samsung One UI 4.0 versus 4.1. This was in there. Uh, and then here we go. The CPU, GPU performance during early stages of gameplay will not be limited. So it was basically a performance management feature based on device temperature uh, will be maintained. And so you want to go inside of the settings uh, for your game booster in terms of the, the game launcher. So when you go inside of game launcher, go inside of the game booster and you'll see this alternate game performance management mode. I also showed that in the previous video. So pretty much majority of all of these have been covered. I'm going to write them down just to make sure that everything has been covered. So everybody, you know, watching this video and, and tunes into this channel will know everything that is brand new for their phone. So all we're going to do now is I'm just going to install this. Uh, this will probably be one of the very last videos of me showing off the Galaxy S21 Ultra just because this one is the device I chose to trade in for my Galaxy S22 and this phone is now due. So this update came at a perfect time, uh, basically one day before I am shipping this thing off. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And make sure you take a look at all the links below the video where I already have videos created for everything we just talked about now. And I'll see you guys later.